Well, those are emotional moments for Terry, for you here. And this, by the way, is the fair play trophy that's in front of you. Yeah. That's a family affair, and it was, <clears throat> that's what it was about. It was about 22 men, not just those who played. No, and it was the staff, everybody involved. But the players, obviously, must take a lot of credit. A lot's been said about them. But I'd like a thought for those that actually didn't get on. I mean, no individual. Like Let Tim it, Flowers. That's who was Tim Flowers, Walker, Philip Neville. Steve Howey was injured, though, and, of course, Les Ferdinand. And uh, I bet there was times when, you know, they didn't feel good about it, but they, they never complained and never upset the apple cart, and I felt that uh, they have a lot of admiration from the other players, too. OK, final thoughts on Euro 96 first from you, Terry. It was, well, it was just unbelievable. I, I, I went into a tournament with all the staff, all the players, with a huge challenge, and as it went on, un as it unwrapped, it just got more and more intriguing, it got fascinating, and it was the best experience of my career. Kevin, your thoughts on this great tournament? Really enjoyed it, I think everybody has. Uh, we might not be the best tournament we've ever seen in terms of footballs and great goals, but the atmosphere is something to say. Strange that it was finished with a, probably the worst goal of the tournament, as it were. That's, <laughs> if we have a worst goal of the tournament, that'll probably win it. Alex? Well, I'm just hoping I see the fans mixing here tonight. I wish we could get that in the game. Marvellous atmosphere. Yeah, but it's been like that, Alex, throughout. Yes, and you wonder why it can't be done in early games. Yeah. It'd be, oh, yeah. And the support from the, all the fans. The, was the just fans, are, they should yeah. get the final tribute tonight, shouldn't they? They should. Yeah. should not be forgotten, it's always a fan's game. Yeah, and you're going to get a job soon, aren't you? <laughs> not tomorrow. <laughs> not tomorrow, no, but soon. No. We've all enjoyed it, there's no doubt about that. It's been a fantastic time here at Wembley tonight as well with a golden goal where we've reached the end of our Euro 96 coverage here on ITV. It's been a tournament of euphoric highs and desperate lows. As Scots, Alex Ferguson and I, well, we were disappointed that Scotland failed to qualify from the group phase. But it was only on goal difference after three very creditable performances. Alex and myself, well, we remain proud Scots. As for England, well, they went out at the semi-final stage on the wrong side of a penalty lottery, but with a superb win over Holland to treasure and a real platform of quality football for Glenn Hoddle to build upon. Germany may have won Euro 96, but under Terry Venables, England have regained a lot of respect at international level. A nation certainly thanks you, Terry, and we hope to see you back in the great game soon. From Wembley, from all of us for now, bye-bye.